Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this dumbass video. I'm doing a reaction of a reaction of a dumbass video. Alright, let's just get started. So, I'm watching uh, The Amazing Atheist. You know, some of his stuff's good. Um, just someone complaining about, like, SJW and a whole bunch of other stuff. And he gets a lot of views. He's got a lot of subscribers. He's got over a million subscribers. I've got maybe not even 35. <laughs> So no one's going to watch what I'm saying, but everyone's seeing what he's saying. But uh, there's really no counterpoint, no good counterpoint that he says after um, complaining about this person's video and what it's trying to represent. Now, how I found the amazing atheist was, of course, YouTube does a whole bunch of things where it says, hey, if you like this, watch this or whatever you see it. And I go, yeah, OK, that looks pretty interesting. So I started watching Andy Worski, and he's got a Asian guy that that helps him out, you know, with anti SJW stuff. And they had a uh, sit down of something uh, like a couple weeks ago, and I watched that. And so I go, okay, maybe I'll look at um, Amazing Atheist stuff. So I started watching his stuff. So basically, you, you can watch this video what he's complaining about. And it's about this shitty ass video made by Chewy May. It's definitely the, you know, a video developed, made to, to make you feels, right? Uh, I mean, when the Amazing Atheist makes fun of this video, of all the idiotic things it depicts, yes, I agree <laughs> with him, right? But he doesn't understand the concept of, of what it's like having. Um, Asian culture dominated by white people. Uh, I don't care. Uh, I'm not racist. I'm not. I'm whether I'm racist or not, or not racist, whatever. Uh, I don't want you to think about that in in regards to what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Uh, when there's racism towards me, of me being an Asian, uh, I usually don't care. I've had a lot of racist things said towards me. A lot of things where I couldn't do something because I was Asian. Um, so what? Fuck them. Um, look, uh, <laughs> someone throws racism in my face. Fine. Uh, I've you know my race, whatever, didn't ha weren't slaves for like three centuries or whatever. Um, you've got you know it's not the worst thing in the world for me. Um, I just move on. If they want to do something about it, I'll fight them, beat them up. <laughs> if that's one thing that like uh, Asians have is we beat you people up. Uh, you're not gonna win. Look at Vietnam. You guys, look. If we're talking about racism right here, you know, white America, uh, along with you know black people that they forced over to send, and, you know the Vietnamese Asians kicked their ass. Okay, that's very racist what I just said but it's true okay so <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this video racism is a very sensitive topic but I want you to get a clear picture of what we're actually facing in Hollywood and this is just I Hollywood, I can't believe I'm defending Hollywood I'm actually even gonna show some articles that are like from Washington Post you're making me post shit from Washington Post see this is why I don't like doing these videos, because it's just shit after shit after shit. It's like, why do people even care about this shit? <sighs> okay, let's keep going. Uh, like, alright, so you think Asians are being all uppity about, like, how white people are being cast as Asian roles? Well, white people do the same thing when they're being replaced by black people. Like Heimdall, he's, he's he's not even a main character; he's a side character. You've got Nick Fury; he's not even, uh, at least in the movies, a real main character. He's just another side character. Online anger erupts over blah blah blah. Dummy, dumb. Uh, complaints about uh, the uh, Chris Rock joke. I like Chris Rock; he's funny. You know, this was a bad joke. I think when you're t trying to tell. Uh, a racist joke 
you want it to be about inclusion, not about exploitation. And you can see this joke, you know, this was last year. I, I don't even watch, but this was a thing. Always, the result of tonight's Academy Awards have been tabulated by the accounting firm of Price, Waterhouse, and Cooper. They sent us their most dedicated, accurate, and hard-working representative. So I want you to please welcome Ming Zhu, Bao Ling, and David Moskowitz. We are a couple days out from the... All right. That was a bad joke. Whatever. Move on. Uh, yeah. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of um, Google you can do. Just look at all this whitewashing stuff. All the way back into, like, the... the uh, lower 20th century in Hollywood. Um, you even got tweets these days like, so many Asian people at Oscars tonight, so exciting. If you don't understand this joke, then you're blind, right? <laughs> uh, you got, you know, I'm going to get a whole bunch of, I just compiled a list. It took me an hour to just go through different types of uh, things and cer certain things that I got back from my uh, childhood because I'm, I'm a big movie buff. Uh, I don't care who plays what. Uh, but what I want to actually show is that there is a problem and just making fun of um, a bad video that has a bad point doesn't detract from what the actual problem is. All right, so here you can see I created a couple lists. Newish main character list. You guys, Scarlett Johansson is Major Kusanagi, which was renamed to the Major in Ghost in the Shell. Now these are main characters, starring roles. Tom Cruise as K.G. Curry, yeah, which was renamed to William Cage in Edge of Tomorrow. Jim Sturgis twice, not just once, but twice. As Jeffrey Ma, he was renamed to Ben in 21. Uh, he was a uh, Hey Ju Chang in Cloud Atlas, where he actually put on like yellow face and like slant to the eyes, all that makeup. Entire main cast of Last Airbender, pretty much. Um, of course, there's some Native Americans in The Last Airbender, but whatever. It's pretty much main cast is white. Maybe a few, uh, like, Asian, uh, it, like, whatever. Casper Van Dien was Juan Rico. Um, he was renamed to Johnny Rico in Starship Troopers. And he was the main character, at least in the book, was of uh, Filipino descent. Justin Chatwin as Goku in Dragon Ball Evolution. Right, and you've got a whole bunch of stuff in old main character lists. Like, we all remember David Carradine as Kwai Chang Kane in Kung Fu. And then you've got a whole bunch of, like, other J John Wayne as Genghis Khan, the Conqueror, the Marlon Brando as Sakini in the Tea House of the August Moon, Yul Brenner as the King of Siam and King and I. Uh, and you've got a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, I'm going on to supporting character lists. Now, this isn't that important, right? It, they're barely in the movie. I'm just putting him in there to illustrate a point. There's Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One in Doctor Strange, Mackenzie Davis as Minnie Park in The Martian Sea. Oh, I didn't even know that. Uh, Emma Stone as Alice Ng, whatever, in Aloha. Comic books. <clears throat> Again, Liam Neeson as Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins the Dark Knight, and Ben Kingsley as the Mandarin, which he really was not because he was kind of an actor portraying the Mandarin. In Iron Man 3, I just put that in there, whatever. Uh, the White Knight in Asian settings list. Matt Damon as William in The Great Wall. Now, what I'm talking about here is you cast a white character in an Asian setting, and they're uh, the main character. They're the hero. Tom Cruise is Nathan Algren in The Last Samurai. Um, although Dances with Wolves isn't an Asian setting, it's Native American, whatever. Kevin Costner, it's the same damn movie, Last Samurai, in Dances with Wolves. Kevin Costner as Lieutenant Bump Dunbar in Dances with Wolves. You now I could throw in Avatar. You know, uh, what's his name as another white actor that goes to another planet full of blue people. Same same damn movie as Last Summer and Dance with Wolves, pretty much. Now, one of my favorite movies, uh, Big Trouble in Little China, same thing. Kurt Russell and Kim Cattrall, they're the two main characters in the movie full of Asians. So, don't tell me that there isn't a fucking problem uh, in Hollywood as far as uh, racism goes. <clears throat> Um, there is, and whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I just want you to see that there is a problem. Um, name one character, just one, one actor, one Asian actor that replaced a white character that was in a book 
uh, that was in a comic book, whatever, uh, that became the main character in the movie. One Asian actor or actress, whatever. None, right? You're not going to come up with one out of how many movies? There's thousands, out, maybe even millions these days. I don't know, but there's thousands. Even um, TV shows. Name one from even a TV show where it's a white uh, main character and it's replaced by an Asian character as the lead. Asian actor. None. All right. So, look, I love movies. I don't care who's in them. I don't care if they're cast in different race. Um, as long as the movie's good, who cares? Uh, but when you're talking about uh, an issue, uh, just because someone makes a bad point or bad video, all right, make fun of that bad point, bad video, but at least have a counterpoint of how they should have represented it, the actual issue at hand. Because when you just start making fun of it, you just look like a dumbass. You know, um, I'm probably going to watch your dumbass, The Amazing Atheist, because you still got some good stuff, but I'm not going to stop myself from calling you a dumbass when you do dumbass stuff. So, all right, that's it. That's my video. I hate doing this shit.